皆さん、こんばんは。私はマッシュ日本です。今日、新しい日本酒を飲みましょう。Hello everyone, this is Matthew in Nihon coming to you with yet another Nihon shu review. And it's a very windy day here in Fukuoka. So if you hear some background noise, I apologize, but there's really nothing I can do about it. That aside, today we are reviewing a Nihon shu from the Hakatsuru Sakagura. Now, Hakatsuru is actually one of the biggest distributors of Nihonshu in Japan.、Um, and apparently, they are quite old. They were originally founded in 1743, which was in the middle of the Edo period. And at that time, apparently, a lot of Sakaguras had very similar sounding names. So, their brewery, when Creating a high quality Nihonshu decided to name it Hakatsuru, which translates in Japanese to White Crane. And as a result, the resulting Nihonshu stood out. Now, this particular Nihonshu is called the Hakatsuru Nama Chozo. And what is Nama Chozo? Well, Nama Chozo is a special kind of Nihonshu.、Um, most Nihonshus undergo two rounds of pasteurization before they're ready to serve. But Nama Chozo specifically undergoes only one. And because it undergoes only one, it's a more unstable Nihonshu. As a result, it is recommended that it be served cold, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, this particular Nihonshu has an acidity of 1.6, and the, it's fermented to about 14%.、Uh, the Nihonshu, though, or sake meter value, is at a solid positive 4, which means this is a drier Nihonshu, better paired with perhaps sweeter foods, or I was told maybe more greasy、um, or、uh, savory. Could work well. Um, now, the semai bui, I hope I'm pronouncing that right,、uh, or the rice polish, is at 70%, which makes this an otter nihonshu.、Um, because it's the same as honjozo, but I don't think this has been prepared the same way that honjozo has, and I don't think it's had any extra alcohol added to it. So I do not believe this is a honjozo. Uh, but with that aside, what am I going to pair this particular Nihonshu with today? Today, to match the Namachozo, we are eating salmon salad nigiri, a kind of sushi. And then, yakitori, with some edamame thrown in. And now let's begin the pour. First, we open. And next. Now we enjoy. Ooh, once there's pear seems to be a very common trend in these Nihon shoes. Just the smell alone has this very pear like quality. Yes, definite pear taste as well.
not very strong. It's but noticeable. It's it's very subtle. I wouldn't call this a very complicated Nihon shoe. I, very good, but not as sophisticated as some of the other types. But um, yeah, it, it manages to have the the pair notes, but not without without being sweet. I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's not sweet, but it's not. You know, it's overwhelmingly dry either. So, you know, actually, no, I think I'm going to start with the yakitori. I have a feeling this will be more of an interesting effect. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's 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 nice. It's rather similar to the last or to the last Nihon show I reviewed, where it it kind of has that sensation of being a meal followed by dessert, but this time it's not as sweet. Um, it tells an interesting little story of itself, though. I mean, if this draws any particular image to mind, it's like being on a summer barbecue with your family and just relaxing, having a good time, and enjoying good food. Because mm. I've said before, that is one thing that makes Nihonshu different from every other alcohol I've ever tasted. It, when you drink it, it tells a story. Even if it's just a short one, it's always worth the ride. Okay, so that was that was interesting. Let's try with the edamame now. It doesn't really tell anything new, but it's a good blending of the flavors. It's a nice, easy kind of snack to follow up with the uh, with the drink. Like I, I could probably spend all day drinking this Nihonshu and eating edamame. Sort of like peanuts and beer. Like they just match. And let's try the sushi. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. So, it looks like mayonnaise on that sushi, but it's not. It's more of kind of a, like a ranch. or It's almost not quite that either. It's almost a tartar sauce without the pickled aspects of it. It's pretty good. Um, but when you eat it, 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 has, it has an interesting, you know, not, not sweet, but not dry flavor. But then when you drink the Nihonshu immediately afterwards, it kind of, 
it's sort of like uh, a milkshake. After uh, the meal. I wish I had a better way to describe it than that, but it, it, it really is interesting. Mm. Okay, it's the sauce that made that difference there. And the piece of sushi I just ate had less of it, so it was less of an effect, but it... Mm. But still, uh, it's just an easy, easy meal. Um, yeah, this isn't the most standout. Uh, full disclosure, I have actually uh, drunken uh, Hakutsuda before. But I had their Daiginjo. Um, I don't remember being particularly impressed with it. It wasn't bad. It was good. It just never stood out to me. And I, in a way, this is kind of similar. It's really good. I mean, I, I enjoy it. But I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't shout it out as being particularly unique. However, because this is an old uh, Sakakura, it could well be that these were the guys who helped start the trend, who founded it. Um, all in all, it is really good. I would strongly recommend drinking this during a barbecue. Um, maybe this and getting a, another sweeter Nihonshu, like uh, our friend Neil. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, just serve it around the table with your friends, have some conversation. It, it is a very easy Nihonshu to drink. Um, and, yeah. So, uh, with that aside, I would like to thank you, my viewers, for always turning in and being, or always tuning in and being so supportive. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I would also like to thank the members of the Nihonshu Nation. Uh, thank you very much for your support and feedback. And a special shout out to my new friends at Nihonshu TV. You can see the little bit I'm going to add at the end of this video referring to them. And until next week, everyone be safe. Kyotsukete kurasai. And always be willing to go beyond the horizon and try new things. Because there's always something interesting. Till then, sayonara everyone. Jamata. Mina san, konnichiwa. Kyo, Fukuoka de. I thank you desu ne. Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day here in Fukuoka. And with this beautiful day comes great news. The Matthew and Nihon channel officially has its first friend. Now, as far as I know, I am the first foreign Nihonshu reviewer on YouTube, but there are several Japanese reviewers, and this channel is no exception. Its name is Nihonshu TV, and they offer very high quality, clear, detailed explanations as to how to drink Nihonshu, uh, which styles of Nihonshu are amazing, and they also make a great effort to reach out to foreigners and try to encourage foreign interest in Nihonshu. I will tell you, they do speak Japanese fairly exclusively, but the quality is amazing, and if you're interested in Nihonshu, I strongly recommend you check them out, especially if you can understand Japanese. So, if you want to give them a try, please go ahead, click the link in the description below, and on the video itself. And until next time, take care everyone.